What's going on, guys? It's your boy Stan, and guess what? We have started a new show. This is the first one. I said, what's going on, guys? What's up with that? Um, I always say, what's going on, friends? Anyway, what's we going have... On, oh, guys? I'm not muted. Dad, it's your boy it. Stan. Every and... time. <clears throat> we have a very special show. show for... <laughs> we have a very special show for you guys today. Basically, we wanted to put something together to express to everybody else that there's other sides of vaping um bridge the gap between between the people that don't experience this side of vaping and the people that only experience this side of vaping and uh we wanted to show you guys that we don't really agree with the whole hemo thing because we're not hemo we're not only we're we like everything and this is a place where <clears throat> we as well as you can express together our love for the high end side of vaping and uh, discuss it openly. So grab your high end device, grab a beverage. I've got a monster right now because I'm tired. And uh, enjoy the show. Hang out with us. You have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Holla. <laughs> Buy a double fish sandwich from McDonald's with that right now. Yeah, you guys are uh, you guys are live right now. Say what's up. What's up? Hey. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna turn y'all up a little bit. I don't really know exactly where the volume level is here, but we'll be okay. We'll figure it out as we go. That's how we do when we start something new, right? What is going Absolutely. on, chat? What up? What up? What's Dire up, things that high end's optional. <laughs> Chad Dotson said high end don't get it well stick around and you maybe you'll figure it out yes <laughs> um basically there's a whole there's a whole other market out there that I had never never really experienced I mean I've bought really nice mech mods American made mech mods which are the, on the higher end mech mod stuff um uh you know I'm a I I design Chinese mech mods um or that have been manufactured by the Chinese. Uh, I enjoy all types of products. But lately, um, over the past couple months, me, Swaggins, uh, Pal702 down here, Louis, we've all been... Uh, Louis kind of is the man who's been holding our hands through this, but I have delved, dove way deep into... Um, the European side of things, the high, the higher end, the, the small modders. So that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about that kind of stuff and all kinds of different um, really cool gear that you may have seen, you may not have seen. Really the only stuff that you can go look around and find in Facebook groups, pretty much. I mean, am I wrong? No. That's it. Right on, right on. Right on. Okay. Thanks, thanks for that very excited um, agreement. You're not wrong. Stan, oh, you're really absolutely right. not wrong whatsoever. There's so matter. many different ways to find some of this stuff, and some of the ways are very specific, and you okay. kind of gradually get there, and it, it actually tests your metal. It says, "Do you want it bad enough? Yes, do you want it bad enough. How Holy, bad how much? How much to. will the pursuit frustrate you? Will it leave uh -huh. you behind, or do you have the grit? Do you have the mental fortitude? Do you have the pocket depth? That's right. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it a quick strike? Is it a Facebook group? Is it a group buy? Like there's so many different ways uh, to get high end stuff, uh, to get stuff from smaller moder moder modders and stuff like that. And so people that haven't really been involved in high end, there's a there's a very exciting part to it. And it, and it to me, like the pursuit of it, like you, you kind of hear murmurs of certain RDAs or certain mods you know, rumblings of it and you're kind of scouring Facebook and groups and stuff. And then you'll see someone with it, post it. And it's, it's very kind of secretive and it's, it's really hard to track things down and to have a show like this to where people that actually do that can all gather and chat and, yes. and we can talk and have people on. It's just going to, in my opinion, like that's why I wanted to do the show is because it's going to give people a place to meet like in the chat over here, there'll be all kinds of, you know, side conversations you know I, I got this have you heard about this list so it's a place for people to come to help them in their pursuit of tracking down some of these elusive you know unicorn type drippers mm -hmm. so, exactly. as well as introducing it to people that have never experienced this part 
Um, and he might want to. I, know, speaking of in the too. chat, I would like to say that um, Todd's reviews is in the chat, and he said, uh -huh. I've only got an Ego and a CE4. Can I still watch? <laughs> hey, shout You're out always welcome. Mark Everybody's Todd. welcome. That that's why we don't OG. use the Todd. I, I the have only. I have eight Infinixes. That's my that's ba you haven't we haven't gotten to our buffets yet, but that's really what I'm rocking. So I'm with you. Oh, vaping bikers in the chat too. Sorry, um, it's, it's, I don't think it's going to be any different, Swaggins. Um, <laughs> so in case anybody has never seen the the vape stew and doesn't know anybody on the panel or um has never met louie which if you're into any kind of facebook group that's high end or whatever then you know who louie is his name yeah um i call him louie lightfoot or louie long hair um but what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go around the horn we're gonna do a little introduction for ourselves and uh kind of let's just talk about who you are and why you're here and uh uh Let's do that first. So let's start off with let's start off with Louis Nicolette. Who we'll are you and why are you here, bro? Well, I'm Louis Nicolette, like you said. I've been vaping for like six years. Um, got my first e cig at a mall kiosk, like a little cigarette thing. Spent like a couple months on that. Then found my way to a vape shop, and back then vape shops actually had like high end gear in there you know they would they would actually sell like the latest greatest thing because it's either that or a 50 dollar clone cape on you know so it was like i walked into the shop saw all this pretty shiny gear i'm like ooh, what's that my eye just got drawn directly towards it just like the custom engravings and the machining and all that stuff so right after my cigarette i i dove right into what you would call high-end gear um picked up a I think it was like a uh, JM22 mech mod and a Genesis atomizer, you know, with mesh and freaking steel cable. Got into that and I haven't looked back since. Um, Ugh, steel cable. Yeah, man, it's fun times. <laughs> Not my Hot thing, spots man. and all. Hot spots and all. Um, basically, I love it about high end is it's uh, the community that's involved in it the the modders seeing what kind of ideas they come up with and 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 their designs and everything um when you find a modder who who has the same vaping style as you and and you, you buy his device and you vape it and it, it it feels like he's made that device just for you you know it, it, it's so specific to your vaping style it, it's crazy um how many groups do you think you're in, Louis? I can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> so many. I know that since I've met Louis, I've been I, <laughs> automatically added to about 35 different new groups that I never knew existed. I, um, I spend so much of my time on Facebook groups every day. It, it's scary. It could be a full-time job. <laughs> it's, it, it's true. Every time I log on to Facebook, like Louis added me to several Facebook groups, like and that's yeah, that's that's one of the the coolest things about the whole this the whole scene is just there's so many smaller modders out there that we don't know about, and it just would be nice if there's a place where yeah, we can share, share yeah that. absolutely. Louis, why don't you show us a couple of uh, what are you what are you rocking right now? Uh, right now I'm rocking a uh, let's see, I got the the wave with the narca, nice MOSFET squonker. I got the uh, crit box. Mini drill, all Ooh. Polish with the Hussar V1 RDA on top. Love that thing. And I got another Polish setup, a Kitchen V3 with oh, the Project mod. X. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm vaping. Very I cool. Very you. cool. Well, you got wow. some juice up. You got some juice up in that joint, or what? Yeah, Which man. Of course, you got some juice. We got some uh, pie, e liquids, butter pecan toffee pie up in that the uh, Project good. X. Some uh, cannoli B1 in the in the narco, and uh, some buttermilk pie in the uh, crit box. Delish. Yeah, man. So that's what I'm vaping. Let's swing it over to you, uh, Swaggins. Yeah. Swaggins. All right. So I'm talking about myself. Yeah. My name is Vapor Swaggin. <laughs> I'm here so you don't have to be. Um, I'm just a consumer, man. I've been vaping for four years. Uh, I 
I've been vaping since, you know, clones of things were actually like almost as good as the actual thing itself. Um, you know, I had a K-Fun light clone in 2014 because I was getting into rebuildables. My buddy said, get this. Cause I went from like a Vaporfy pen to that. And he's like, get this. So I had a, I had a K-Fun light clone on a Hannah 30 box. Um, and that was a clone. He sent me that. Um, and at the time, you know, the prices that you see now, they're a little bit inflated, but I mean, it's like it was available. I mean, the, the stuff that was there was mostly high end. I mean, if you look at Rip Trippers, he was he was reviewing stuff that would that would be considered high end stuff nowadays because it was all small modders and whatnot. Um, China hadn't really come into the fold yet, um, really at a at a mass scale, especially at the scale that we're at now. But anyways, uh, fast forward. So basically, I am a stooge. I've been a part of the Vape Stew crew. I'm on the Vape Stew show now with Stan, Nick, and Joel. I'm on the Vaping with the Omi show on Monday nights. And about four weeks ago, I decided to really jump headfirst into high end. I met Louie. Uh, Stan hooked me up with Pal and Louie. And then the rest has been history. It's been a freaking like thunderstorm um, of buying and trading and um, and selling in some circumstances. If you've done high end, you know that... Sometimes you buy stuff to try and then you're like, all right, I don't like this and you sell it so you can try something else because it's constantly, it's constantly, um, there's something coming out. Like the Wicked RDA just came out. I love it. I'm vaping on that. I'll show you my buffet in a second. But um, I love the aspect of high end where things are clean. Things are, the, the detail, the attention, the small details is there. Um, there are some great, you know, not high end addies that can perform um pretty much just as well as some of the high-end stuff that I have, but I, but I love the stories behind. I love the pursuit. I love haggling. I mean, Facebook, I hated Facebook. I still kind of hate Facebook, but Facebook (laughs) has created a new dimension for me where I can talk to people and I can find something and I can haggle with them and we can find a deal. Even if I can get five, $10 off, uh, it's great to just haggle. I love the pursuit. It's one of my favorite parts about um, about the process. And it's like you win two times, man. You get the pursuit, you get to find what you're looking for, what you're seeking after you get to haggle for it. You get to negotiate. And then, and then after it's all done, you get a, you get a kick-ass Addy or mod to use and then, and show off. Um, and, uh, and I really love that whole aspect of it. I also love the friends that I've made as a result of it. And I love that the community, the high end community for the most part, 98%, I've had positive experiences, really great people not what you see or hear. Um, and that's why we wanted, that's why I wanted to do this show. I wanted people to hear about it. You know, they may not, they may think like so, there's some stigma around it because it's, it's deep pocket kind of, you know, pursuits. Um, but people have tastes and, and people work hard for their money. And I think that, um, that if you want to spend your money on something nice, that you should be able to do it without judgment. So that's why I want to be here to kind of, uh, you know, to shed light on that so basically that's me um, yeah show us the good stuff bro hey uh, hold on one second jo- joseph yeah. hammer thank you so much for the five dollar super chat we greatly appreciate it he says what's up pal it's awesome that you guys are doing this by the way check out the wicked rda it's fire it is my wicked's on the way swaggins has it yeah uh, i'm on the fence. holding it too, hostage sold on one to stand. i'm on the fence he's Old holding it fence. hostage till i send him this sentinel dude it's a banger, man. <laughs> hey, be on the fence all you want, but you you might as well just snag one. The RRP is under a hundred dollars, and it comes with two caps, a beauty ring. I mean, it's it's just like it's a great it's a great package considering it's under a hundred bucks. I gotta nice. get over my my oh, one sided air flow Dude, thing. Like, me too. Go on me too. I'm telling you, man. It's like I have the three hole insert in it right now, and like the way that I vape it. Like, if you ever vaped a, a single sided airflow Addy before? If you vape it with top up, it doesn't even you can't even feel it. But even the flavor is so good that even when like I grab it with my right hand, and I have it on the side or whatever. It just it it doesn't bother me. It's not like I'm vaping through an obstruction. It feels okay. You know what? If you want to try it, there's here's a little information for you. If you want to try it and you are a member of the Squonk America Facebook yeah. group, or go ahead and get to be part of the Squonk America Facebook group, they're going to be doing a group buy on that this week. So yeah. if you yeah. want to try the wicked, that's the way to do it. Cause they usually yeah, give exactly. a decent price or RRP for that and some accessories. Yeah, um, and that's another thing about this show is when allowed, we'll give you guys heads up on stuff coming out. Yeah. That we see where to get it. Yeah. Like 
that's another thing about high end. Sometimes you're not allowed to say what's coming out or where to get it. That all depends on the group you're in and, and what's coming Oops. out. But when, we, <laughs> <laughs> but when we can, we will get we will give you guys the heads up on it. And that's another thing about high end. It's about the relationships, making relationships with anybody in these Facebook groups. It's important if you want to get yourself the RDA or device you're going after. Yeah, it's don't definitely be worth that, it to hang don't out. Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. If you see someone posting a lot in, in a group, reach out to that person and just say hi and strike up a conversation. You know, that's how I got started in all these groups. I just reached out to everybody I could. Whoever I saw posting the most, I would say hi to them, start a conversation, and and next thing you know, you're getting invited to groups, seeing what they're vaping on. Like, ooh, what's that? And then that's just a rabbit hole you go down, and you just keep going down it and see where it takes you. Well, let's let Swags go ahead and finish his uh, his buffet, buddy. Sorry, we got off on that Wicked tangent real quick. We no, did. I mean, well, speaking of the Wicked, so yeah, I got the Wicked um, on top of the SQ right here. I've got the uh, blue Checkmate with the Vena on top, uh, all jumed out. Um, I've got the SVA Kimberly um, limited edition blue with the Tanko tank on top. I've got the um, the SVA rat with the basic 1.1 in black titanium on top. And inside of those, I have uh, Paramon by a company I can't remember. They're an affiliate of IVC. Speaking of IVC, I've got Pittsburgh left. The Paramon's what? A cinnamon pear ricotta cheese. It, it's weird. Oh, the yes, ricotta cheese yes, threw absolutely. me off, Sorry, but it doesn't think sweet. It's like ricotta cheese is in cannolis. Think about it that way, right? Um, I've got the Pittsburgh Left by IVC. Um, it's a three melons with a marshmallow finish. It's really good. Um, what else do I have? Of course, my all-time favorite juice, Tango Melon by Transistor. It's a tangerine uh, mango melon. And... Uh, that's in two setups. So basically that's what I'm vaping on um, and some pod systems, but Infinix. Just know whenever I say pod system, it's an Infinix. So I'm going to pass it off to my dude, Pal702. Very cool, very cool. But yeah, Pal, hit us up, man. Tell us what's up. All right. So good morning, everybody out there. How you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> this, for me, like this is super early. Like Sundays are the only thing I have off. And so usually I roll out of bed on Sundays at about noon and then me and Marjorie shoot all three videos for the week. And then that's how we do it. And so to, today I will be waking up right as this show ends. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so the, the high, end, high end and mechanical stuff for me just go hand in hand. You know, I, I got involved in, I guess, the high end scene when I started getting involved in uh, Pinoy mechanical mods. And so... I didn't start off with like European stuff at all. I was, you know, I was super into, you know, mech boxes and mech tubes and, and stuff out of the Philippines. And then after really it was the B2K. The B2K is what got me to accept singles. And then ever since then, uh, I just started going after I single love coils. The B2K, and, man. Yeah, that was the that was the single coil that really like drew me in. And, uh, and so I, like a lot of people in the chat and stuff, I'm still learning and exploring like the European side of things, you know, I, I really haven't been in doing that for so long. So for me, it's really a lot of fun tracking down the singles, but you know, I just look at mechanical tubes and European high end stuff and then just, I smash them together. And that's how I like to vape, you know, tubes with lots of power and squonkers with uh, single coil RDAs in the morning and uh, during at work. So, uh, yeah, and, and this, as far as what I'm vaping on this morning, I ease myself into mech tubes. So uh, it's always singles in the morning. I got the, I don't know if you can see this very good, but that is the Vicious Ant DNA 75C21700 with the, the Haku Vena. And that's got the a Never Normal, like purple cap, and D-Mod Solo, I mean, uh, D-Mod's Beauty Ring and Drip Tip. And inside of that, the best ever for coffee, Crooks. Crooks and coffee every morning. Dude. This is so good. Is that Oreos? Yes. 
Oh this, my! This entire line, fifty-one fifty, like they they have just killer juice. And then the uh, other setup is gonna be. I've been vaping this a lot. This Mod Dog Pulsar, and uh, on top of that, it's got the Skyfall with the DLC cap. And then inside of that, I have fifty-one fifty Detox, which is like a crisp apple cream berlay it, it's like i've been vaping this nonstop for like two months and i'll probably hate it soon but i can't quit vaping it who makes that 5150 they actually they make both of these 5150 makes alter ego and uh, under this line they have this and doppelganger which is like a caramel caramel kettle kettle corn and then 5150 they, they have probably like 12 different flavors and they're What's that all apple one called um this one is called Detox. Detox, that's it, what it was. Man, that sounds delicious. It's a good morning after that. It's so good. And yeah, they have another one called Skull Candy that's that's whipped lemon meringue pie. And it's like, it's really? all really good. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. But, uh, I need to move you guys so that I'm not looking over there the whole time. Um, <laughs> Miss Jill Doldine said, she's, I'm smoking high end. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so. I just want to say good morning to everyone and also to everyone uh, like Mark, Todd and, and Biker and all you guys over in Europe, Stian, you know, we, we, we actually plan this show with European um, viewers in mind. That's why True. we came out early because the, you know, a lot of the vaping style in Europe is, you know, much closer to, you know, high end or small, smaller monitors and stuff like that. So we really targeted, we wanted to be on, when you guys when people in europe are watching yeah and thank you to them too like as a shout out to them i mean yes. we're inspired by the european market and their you know and all the content that you guys create for these high-end modders <laughs> and addy makers and whatnot because without you guys i wouldn't be able to watch a video on um you know for, um, in most cases there isn't just a wealth of that in the american market for me to be like I want to look up the project X and see how to build this thing and the proper way to put the coil in what kind of build to do. Like, so like Todd, you Damien, um, from, um, bloody good vaping? Yeah. Bloody good vaping. yeah, exactly. A very good, a bloody good vaping. Yeah, exactly. So like without you guys, I mean, um, we wouldn't be able to have that content. So, so we'll refer to you a lot and we appreciate what you guys do. And we hope that more American, uh, reviewers and the American market will kind of, uh, you know, open up more to, to this, this side of vaping. Yeah. To, don't shun it so much. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. To spend, uh, it's it's okay, okay. To spend $80 for an RDA. I mean, anyone Damn. that vapes, anyone that vapes prior to like 2014, I mean, spending $80 on an Proper RDA builds. was, was nothing. I mean, that's 2010, $50 clones, bro. Yeah, I mean, you, you went into a vape shop and the RDA was sixty to a hundred bucks. Yeah, and that's what it was. And then, yeah. and then over time, it just you know, they everything became so cheap. And and the I mean, I, I don't blame it. Like people can pick up so much gear for so cheap. And I, I do the same thing. I buy a ton of Chinese stuff. Yeah, know? think think about it this way, pal. It's like that's a really great point because people there's so much content content there's so many products coming out of china so many affordable products coming out that people just are like screw it you know mm -hmm. especially in the american market where as consumers we're like we're pushed to buy 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 so it's like 30 dollars here 30 dollars there it makes more sense i can buy more stuff for little bits of money but they like nobody you know where we were at years ago it's like things came out slower so you had time to be able to accumulate those funds and then buy those things even though the reviews were in out form and whatnot um so nowadays it's like People just don't think in that those terms. It's like, well, I can buy six Addies for the price of that Addy you just bought. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's like, I get it. I totally get it. But, um, well, here's the other thing too, um, and I'll get to my introduction here in a second. But I like how we're intermingling the content in the middle of it. Um, yeah. The other thing is, is that some of these Chinese companies. And this is something that I had to talk to Times Vape, working with Times Vape so much. It's like, look, you you really have to take care of people when they have a problem. It's something that you really yes. need to talk to them. You, you need to answer the emails. You need to make sure that, like, when the paint coating problem on the the first streamer is like, look, we need to take care of this. Something that you need to offer them in exchange or something. There needs to be a warranty. Well, with the smaller modders, <clears throat> send them a message. 
send them a message. Yeah, and they'll talk to you. I haven't so. had a bad experience with the modder yet. Um, I'm sure it will eventually because I'm sure they're out there just like everything. But send them a message and they will take care of you, man. Uh, I know Hussar did a fantastic, fantastic job taking care of Pal. I've heard other stories about them taking care Shout of Shout out to Mateus. Absolutely. Awesome. Mateus is the man. Um, I mean, I've been talking to the guy from uh, One Gen. I don't think that's the name. I think that's just the uh, – is it Mad Beard? Um, yeah, Mad Beard, yeah. Mad uh, Beard. Boris Mods. over in um, St. Petersburg, Russia. I haven't been talking to Boris, but Boris's yeah. posts are very cool. Uh, I yeah, love how he I sits. Talked about him. Anton's his business partner. Anton. Yeah, Anton. I've been talking to Anton a lot, and he responds, man. He responds. He answers your questions. You talk to him, and then Boris is posting videos of himself sitting in the shop, hand sanding contacts, and it's just it's really cool to watch. Um, but if you guys don't know, my name is Stan. Um, Tenacious TX Vapes. You guys are here on the channel, so uh, thank you for being here. I am completely engulfed in love the aspect of whoops and this is going to be a thing on this, sh this show as well just so you know um i am completely in love and and just completely drawn in by the aspect of this side of the market and it's completely swag's fault um swag's what? was swags was getting into into all kinds of really cool stuff and he was sending me stuff and he's like stan have you seen this have you seen this have you seen this and i was like man where are these designs coming from and me being the obsessive type type of person i am just took it and ran with it and then uh swaggin started getting frustrated and telling me dude you got to slow down you got to stop i can't look at all this i want to buy everything um because i was just finding things like yeah. like the the whisper rta and and just the way that the decks are designed um the way that the 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 rtas are designed the w small modders take their designs and go with it they're not worried about what everybody else is going to think totally they're worried about making a good product and making it quality um the the chinese market tends to go well what's going to sell us a whole bunch and uh we know that this sells really good so we're going to take that and kind of do this with it and that's that's okay that's a way of doing business that's fine and you want to be on the world market you want to make that money you want to do that that's fine the modder it's more of an artistic thing um, and yeah, they, they want to make money out of it. Obviously they're doing it, but they take it and they go with their design because they have a really strong feeling and love for it. And this is what we want to do. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make it and I'm the one doing it. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And, uh, I love that. I love the different designs you find <clears throat> like the hellfire, the way that the airflow works, um, the hellfire RDAs. I love that. Uh, different, just different types of things. And it's as a designer myself in a different industry, um, I guess in this industry now as well, but in a different industry is my professional thing. And, uh, I'm a professional in a different industry. Yada, yada, yada. Gosh, I cannot speak. Um, I've completely drawn to it. It just takes me over. I love it. And I can't, my wife kills me because I'm on the phone all day long looking through Facebook groups like Louie. It's, um, but <laughs> yep. Here is what I'm rocking today. Um, currently, I've got the Melody MOSFET. Let me go ahead and the Melody Box MOSFET Squonker with the Micro BF on top, which I honestly just got the Micro BF yesterday. I'm not real sure if I love it, but damn, look how beautiful it looks on this box, that titanium. Um, the Micro. The Micro. Yeah. Is that the same people that make the, the bio chip? I'm not sure. Adler Designs. No, okay, no. No, this is Adler Designs, the Micro BF. Uh, the deck is really interesting. It's not the easiest thing to build on. It's not the toughest, but it's not, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm also rocking a Bolt mech with the Vena on top with an awesome little Christmas present that my buddy Swag sent to me, Juma Cap there. Uh, this is a fantastic little setup here. And it's ripping and roaring. <clears throat> I've also got the Stige Steve yeah, Steve. from Mod Dog. Um, this is a really, in my opinion, a very affordable Stige. mod that is very quality. Solid silver contacts. Uh, it's really cool. Look at this. Bam. Heck breaks in good, half. Jacoby. It's, Everything it's comes a really apart. cool. That's, I love that thing. Not yeah, the and it's, it's such a quality 3D print that it feels like it's injection molded. 
Um, and on top of that, I've got the Maverick, the Hellfire Maverick. <clears throat> yeah. And then that's, I'm going to show one more Squawker and then right one more there. tank setup. I'm going to do two more. I don't care. Sorry, I told you guys I'm just going to blow my load. Um, Dude, the Sentinel's better. I've got the Vicious <laughs> Ant 21700 with the Narca on top. Oh, which, you had to go there, didn't you? I did. I totally did. It's Narc love. Yeah, I totally uh, did. Uh, I got the Narca on top of the Vicious Ant 21700. And then uh, last but certainly not least, I've got the, the a bunch of stuff here too, but the, those guys showed so much different stuff that I'm going to show the different stuff. So this is the Whisper RTA. Um, and it, Loud Cloud. Loud Cloud Mods makes this. Yeah. And that's on top of the uh, DNA 75 21700, just box from... Uh, a really nice ember box, just a Damn basic, it, man. Warlock. really nice box from Gathering Vapor Lounge. Um, but this RTA man, I and you guys are gonna kill me because you, I know you know how how hard I looked for the Project X and how hard I stalked the Facebook group waiting for the list. Yeah, I use this whisper more than the Project X, even and though you I son love of the, a gun, man. I love. I the didn't Project even X. want the Project X until you obsessed over it. Now I, I still have. love it, dude. It's right here. I was dude. I was vaping it earlier. I'm rocking it's it. Great, I love it. It's a great Abby, bro. Oh man, but this whisper, I'm just absolutely in love with this whisper, and I like the way it looks. Uh, it's just so clean and tidy, and and the 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 Project X is like a really super polished and tidy and clean, and it. You know what? I might fall. I'm I'm in love with the flavor. I'm in love with the way it works. Uh, I might fall more in love with it if I can get on that list for the extension kit, because that's really the part that stinks right now is having to fill it all the time. I'm not into the whole one milliliter, two milliliter refill all the time thing. And I know that that's a that's a, a TBD thing as well, uh, mm-hmm. but that stinks over here. So <laughs> well, they're coming. They're, there's four mil extensions are coming. It yeah, does I can't. Help. Man, I can't wait. Didn't you well, get a prototype? Lucky. I did. I got a prototype extension tank, and it helps immensely. And it doesn't really affect it. I thought it would affect the flavor and make it a cooler vape. It really doesn't. Mateus designed it really well to where adding two more mils to the tank doesn't affect anything. I love the Project X. Like, before this, the Skyfall, not uh, Skyfall, the Skyline was my favorite RTA for two years. Mm-hmm. Within a week of owning a Project X, I, I can't. I haven't touched my Skyline. I I've been on this thing, solid. I'm I'm close, man. I still I, I don't know. I it, I still am not a tank guy for it, for it, the it, reasons of like being able to carry. Which, now I'm gonna I'm send the, you my Project X, man, and we'll see which how you feel about it. Dude, it, it builds like an RDA and vapes like an RDA. You just slap a tank on top of it. Yeah, and that's it. Speaking of uh, uh, sending, I, I want to send Swaggins. I was talking about this this morning. I was going to ask Pal. I want to send uh, uh, Swaggins. I want to send you my Jenna. And uh, I want to have. Dude, that's cruel, man, because I can't I can't get one. Well, so that's kind of like, why I want to send me it to vape you. it and fall in love with it, which I know <laughs> I will. I want a Jenna so bad. Well, um, with the stuff that's going on and everything, um, I wanted to send you the Jenna. And I wanted to see maybe possibly if Pal could send a Jenna to a panel member on the stew. Uh, because I wanted us to talk about it, like kind of. Oh, so that on every- the, yeah, on the stew, yeah. Yeah, so everybody can kind of see, like, not not as many people have it. And and I know I saw Jay in the, uh, in the chat, so. <clears throat> but not as many people have it, and people are so worried about whether or not they're going to get a decent experience out of the ones they do get. And uh, I wanted them to see that this that the ones that did come out are really good quality that came out to the, the reviewers anyway are really good quality, really nice RDAs, and we're not just full of shit. Um, so, okay, hold on. I've got. Uh oh, what happened here? There it is. Okay, so basically, how did? Let's talk about. Oh, okay, all right. Swaggins, what was your first thing? I know how Pal kind of got in. It. No, let's start there. Pal, how did you get into? Was it just MCM? Is where you kind of like started rolling into um, nicer gear, like nicer quality gear, or was it? Did you like? Were you kind of involved in it yourself? Were you looking for something yourself different and uh, uh, more nice than what would like more higher end? Or uh, how did it happen? What what happened there? 
Uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was for me, I didn't start off like a single coil guy. I didn't like single coils and, and I really didn't squonk a lot or anything. So I got in on the mechanical side of it and definitely, you know, in the Philippines, you know, some of the first stuff that I bought the equilibrium, like the Mose, uh, 25 mech tube, uh, and then like the Mose, uh, RDA and, and all that stuff. Like I really, really appreciated the, the machining and just how, just all the work that goes that went into Panoi gear and there's like imperfections and you can tell like a lot of stuff is homemade and like there there's just a lot of character like and over time when you review someone's stuff so much as a particular modder you can almost read their minds like you know what they're trying to say and yeah and it's just that when you get to that level like if you're if you vape their products so much and you get to know you know you kind of get inside you know what's going on in their minds and you you really it's cool to watch a progression in machining and thought all that stuff and then like i said it wasn't until like the b2k came out that i actually gave singles a chance and then from then on it was you know i just blindly would kind of buy high-end singles i would buy most of them used at a high-end addy trader and um i never really had any resource as far as like a place to come that would share all the information you know it, it's just you know, there's, for me, this show, like there's people asking like, well, I don't get the show or I don't understand the show. And it's like, this nothing really to understand. It's just a vape show where people that enjoy, you know, anything, little modders, like if you got a Korea, Malaysia, Europe, Philippines, it's just a show where, where people can come to and talk about, you know, certain, certain RDAs, you know, maybe you don't want to go, you know, buy 10 different, hundred dollar RDAs until you find the right one. Most people don't want to do that. So it's just another resource. It's another tool. It's another thing for, for the community. And there's not, a, there's not a show that does that. So right. You know, what's great there's too. To get. Sorry. I, I kind of got sidetracked because Jay said you can get them. <laughs> you, you can get the Jenna. So I've been like squirming to try and find where I can get this. Um, <laughs> basically. Uh, oh, and he put the, and he put the, the, um, the password link. in this in there for you. There's 200. So go. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh great. Jay. Oh man. Great. I need to talk. I'm on a show right now. God damn it. No, go right. ahead, so man. We know how it show. is. But just let me say is. like the conversion for instance, right? You know, yes. I bought that not having the the modder or the Addy makers, you know, preference in mind. So I tried like mid range builds. I tried point twos, point threes, tried point one eight. Like it's like it just wasn't for that. When I mm -hmm. put a point seven two in there and I put it, you know, a cert I, I fixed the coil a certain way and I put it on my tiny volcano and I'm vaping it at like 35 watts or something like that. It shines because. Yeah. That's what the modder wanted. That's what the Addy maker wanted. That's what he said. This is what I want. This is my style of vaping. This is what I'm trying to convey. I had to if talk you this way. It's going to shine. Mm -hmm. I had to talk right. swags off it, off the ledge there because I uh, I got the convergent and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I I was like swags, you got to try this thing. This thing's fantastic. And Louis was like, oh, it's one of my favorite Addies. And I was like, dude, you've got to try this thing. And I basically talked Swags into it. I gave him, like, I talked it up so much that he was like, oh, gosh, okay, fine. I'll go get one. And because the convergence is actually pretty easy to get a hold of. <clears throat> but uh, you can buy it on, uh, what's the website? You can buy it. Well, I think Anushi's out. Um, but I've seen it. out. Oh, you can buy it on their website, Fluid Mods. They have yeah. a website now. You can purchase it there. Um, but the convergent is a really nice flavor, Addy, with a restricted draw. And it's just sexy looking. And um, Swags just couldn't get it. He just couldn't get it. He's like, man, I do not, I do not know, like what I'm doing wrong. And I was like, dude, how how is it? Because we vape pretty similar. Swags tends to like things a little tighter than I do, but we vape pretty similar. And the converge is pretty tight for what I normally would vape. And I was like, Swags, you gotta like this thing, man. How is this possible? And uh, finally, he figured it out. And I was just, I felt so, I felt so, so good about it because uh, I was worried that he was going to be like, Stan, I'm never going to listen to your recommendations again. And you suck. <laughs> I spent hundred and forty dollars on this like atomizer too. And, and Like when sucks. I'm not on the show, that's what I sound like. That is Jay, exactly what it sounds Stratum like. Store, huh? They're on Stratum, bro? Yeah, they're on Stratum Store. The Jenna? What? No, the um, Fluid Convergent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I bought it straight from them because at the time, like, I wasn't peeping straightum. 
But uh, shout out to Vitaly Stratum. Love that dude. Um, they're He's local cool. to me, yeah. which is awesome. Um, Vitaly's why we got a, a couple of wickets. I appreciate yeah. that, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Vitaly. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm buying a Jenna. Thank you, Jay Hayes. I appreciate that. I'm so excited. You don't. I was gonna that? buy that Femto. Uh, I was looking. I've been looking at it for like a couple of weeks. And dude, I I was just posted a review on it. I peeped like, you in the private chat. There was a guy selling a Femto. I, I threw mm-hmm. that in the, in the chat, bro. I thought Last that night. was I thought that was really cool because they they utilized like a true bottom airflow on a single coil that you could squonk on, uh, and it was, and it appeared to be hard to leak. Like uh, I, I was really interested in that, and then after seeing Jay's review on it, it's like I kind of I kind of want to grab it because it's dual sided airflow and it had like this really cool insert. Have you guys seen it? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. I actually yeah. saw it yesterday for the first time. I hadn't seen Jay's review, um, but I felt the same way as you. I'm like, oh, that's a really cool design, but I don't know much about the Yellow Kiss. Um, I mean, I know that they did the uh, – What's I did see the other yeah. RDA um, that came out recently. Louie knows it. The Pico RTA? Really kind of RDA. RTA. Oh, an RDA from Yellow Kiss? Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's I'm, I'm missing it right now. But anyway – uh, the Femto is, is a really cool design and I wouldn't mind picking one up, but I kind of blew my wad this week and, uh, oh. I've got four custom mods coming. So I kind of was like, I'm going to chill <laughs> when, when Swag's was like, Hey, this guy's got this for sale. I was like, I think I'm going to wait. Um, oh, man. it's the best when you get all those invoices in. No, it's one. not. No, it's, it's not, not the best. <laughs> I got four invoices. No, it's not. All you're like, you're not. like, oh, it's only it's only a hundred bucks to get it started. Sure, yeah, yeah. Here's a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, here's a yeah. hundred bucks to get that one started. Oh yeah. Oh shit, they're all done at the same time. Let's yep. let's go ahead and finish out the freaking <laughs> finish out the freaking invoice all at the same time. Not cool, yeah, man. man. When uh, DPM mods also, hit me so early, I was very happy. Armor. And the, uh, the, go, oh, sorry, go ahead, pal. No, I was just answering a question in, in chat. Go ahead, go ahead. He said, uh, pal 72, have you tried the armor 2.0? And I have not. I have I have the the 1.0 with that never normal cap on it. So and excited. It, it's one of the very <laughs> few like dual coil 22 millimeter RDAs that I like to bait. And I actually was looking at the there's an Ultim. Which I know a lot of people hate Ultim, but I fucking love it. Sorry. Dude, you and me are on the same page with Ultim, bro. I'm cool with Ultim. I, I was looking at an Ultim one last night, actually. The the basic 2.0. I mean, not the basic. The the armor 2.0. Uh, I, <sighs> I got it. It just looks like they just kind of changed the post a little bit. I don't really know wh- what else they did besides. I mean, the outside looks a little bit different. But, I got a uh, confession to make. I don't have one. I almost, uh, dude. I was when that Ultim Haze mod was up on the Vape Life site. I almost uh, was, I, I, dude, I was, if I if I did tanks, I would have bought that so fast. I was staring at it so hard, and I was like, <laughs> I, I just can't do it right now. <laughs> I was staring at it so hard. Um, it, you know what? I gotta admit, it's a pretty sexy, pretty sexy mod. Um, it is. Dude, vicious. But swags, Ant, D- I'm sorry. I mean, come on, no, vicious Ant, man. They don't put out garbage. Like, no, dude, no. They, I haven't had anything bad from dudes. them. Kid machine, yeah. and they, they. I mean, the only thing I've ever got from them I didn't like was the. The radius v2 but that's just because i'm not into mouth mouth to lung but i mean Dude, the this, machining on it was gorgeous this 21 700 made my uh, other vicious ant mech obsolete to me so i traded it away like i was it's kind of bummed about it but at the same time i was like i don't need it and i could use it to get something else and this thing is freaking amazing so yeah they put out nice stuff dude um oh. swaggins did is is the armor that you have the 2.0 or is it the 1.0 it's the 1.0 oh okay um, how do you feel about the 1.0? I know you you don't you haven't used the 2.0, but what are your feelings um, on the 1.0? No, I mean I have it on this right now because like you, I mean I have I bought so many Addies that I'm just like constantly cycling them through and I mean this is a pretty this is a pretty good little uh, mech squonk right here, but I like it. Honestly, I didn't I mean I I I vaped it originally with the little um insulator, the one side insulator in there. Um I have a dual micro fused Clapton in here probably around a 0.3 ish um and it's good it really is good um i could drip this thing uh and so like it's been a while i mean back in the day like 2014 i had a haze dripper um i have the hobo drifter like so i had i have the 22 millimeter kennedy um so it's like i forgot 
what it was like to have small dual coil Addies. Yeah. You know, and so it's really yeah. cool to have something like this and be like, oh shit, you know, I can get a ton of favorite flavor and vapor off of something like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's different but similar, you know, because you have that reduced chamber. Um, I like it. I, I really, I really do. I, I like it. I think that they'll I'll find it like I could throw this on a 22 millimeter mech tube. Like if I had if I had more, I mean I have a few from my past that I might throw this on there and be like, holy crap, that's my next level is like to be like, let me get into 22 millimeter mechs again and throw a dual coil banger on there and just be ripping, you know, oh. and, and all that. <laughs> that's, that's basically where I'm kind of collecting a few of these to be like, let me see in the future when I, when I'm done <laughs> dumping all my money into, you know, regulated and mech squonkers um, and single coils when I kind of, that kind of stops flaring up as much. Cause um because it has for sure that I'm going to throw some of these that I have in my collection and then pursue some more and I'll have to reach out. You just out reminded to me of something that's really been uh, eating at me and we're going to hear from Louie here in a second but uh the the Sturm mod, the mech mod, the, the smuggler. The smuggler, smuggler. and oh. their new their new tank stuff they got coming out. Oh. Um I don't know if we're, are we supposed to talk about that stuff? Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> it's on it's in their group, dude. I know, but you they're real they're real protective though. sometimes. So, um but no, it, it, dude, this the Sturm stuff that's he's got rolling and that mech mod is gorgeous, mm -hmm. man. And I missed the list by a day. I know you did too, yep. Louie. Dude, I know of some day. other mech tubes that are coming out as well that I can't speak of. Uh, look at me. You know, I got a prototype uh, topside duel, and now I got all these secrets to share. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a lot on the horizon that's really exciting that aren't just 18350 that are actually catered towards 18650 and beyond. But from these small motors. It's awesome. 18, 18350 is one of those batteries that uh, I think is going to be popular this year. I don't know how... Probably amongst the, like the mech MTL type crowd, but Dude, um, mouth to lung. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can only take like five rips off of it. Yeah, like they're like they're like true nine amp batteries. Go well, ahead. If you think about it like this: if you're using a pod system, you get maybe 500 milliamps at the most. A three eighteen three fifty mech mod with a little MTL RDA or or Genu on top, it's no bigger than an Infinex. You're right. getting twice the twice the ma more amperage. And what's carrying two eighteen three fifties in a case in your pocket going away? It's not going to weigh much. The so only difference is like stealth and weight. You know, I I throw this at work. I throw this in my front pocket next to my pocket protector. You know, while I'm doing science and things, mm -hmm. <laughs> I just pull this out and like it's really small and stealthy. Yeah, uh, but I tend to prefer I tend to prefer the weight. Like I've got that Bestia Mech and it's eighteen six fifty and it's this tiny little thing. And uh, I absolutely kind of prefer something that size and that weight. I mean, yeah, uh, I as opposed to like a pod system. Like, Me I mean, too. a pod system just feels. I mean, yeah, you drop it, you break it. That's cool, but I just I t I like the weight, and um, I think the like the this thingy, the weight on it's good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people like it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, the weight on it feels good. It feels like a nice mod. So. <clears throat> we're we're ending up we're getting close to the end of the hour. What I want to do is is we're gonna we're gonna be doing the show, uh, and I know this is kind of an introductory thing. We kind of just wanted to talk a little bit, tell a little bit about ourselves and what we're doing, um, and what our what our goal is. And our goal is to kind of bring bring more people into the market that don't really understand, and and provide more content for the people that only have Facebook groups to look at, and maybe a couple of reviewers to watch. Um, so something a little different for, for the higher end side of things. And what I want to do now is, is I want to go around the horn here and I want to say, what is something that you are in the pursuit of oh, God. that you're looking forward to that hasn't been made yet? Or there's a list coming or, you know, you've heard of something. What's something that you, uh, you may be looking forward to that you're going to try to get into, uh, the pursuit of let's start with, let's start with swaggins. Oh God, man. Well, can I say it's twofold? So I'll say first of all, because I definitely want to steal the thunder of somebody on this panel because I know what you're gonna say. But the Skyfall, man, I really want to get a Skyfall. Um, I've looked at some. I've had some. You know, they they pop up in 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 kind of periods where people are selling them or or trading them. Mm -hmm. And you know, someone right now is like interested in trading me for my Project X, and I was like, ah, I can't really do that though because I love the Project X and I haven't given it enough time. Um, but I really want to get a Skyfall at some point and be able to buy one. 
hopefully for RRP, if I can be, if I can be completely honest and be lucky, um, that's what I'm really in pursuit of. That's already out. I really like, especially with this wicked, like if the, if the sky falls, anything like the wicked, but dual sided airflow and just the extra, I'm not going to get into it. I could gush about it for another hour, but, uh, the sky falls something currently out that I'm in pursuit of like full, full fervor, hundred percent. Um, you know, my radar's out there. I'm looking for it, but the thing I'm looking forward to trying is that prestige RDA, um, yes. I, I, we've been talking about it in our chat a little bit more. We've been seeing it, trying to get into the group, trying to hear what's up on it. And I really want to, uh, I really have my eyes and my ears out for that guy right there. And that's me. I'm going to pass it off to Louie. Definitely. Piggyback off what you just said. Just pick one out of the whole list, Louie. I know you got a huge list, bro. Prestige, you know, building relationships up enough to have a moderator trust you enough to bring you into the group. And then like, Hey, I got some friends looking forward to and bring them into the group. You know, it, it makes the whole community just come together for me. Anyway, I love it. The prestige is everything that I love in an RDA. It's got the dual sided airflow. It's got the looks to match and coming from the way the modder designed it, it looks like it's going to vape perfect for my vaping style, you know? So that's the one thing I, I'm currently like gawking over because right now there doesn't seem to be a Skyfall list coming anytime soon. So I'm putting mm-hmm. that one off right now. But yeah, definitely the prestige RDA for me. How about you, pal? I know you're just chatting it away, man. What's what's something that you're excited about or you're looking forward to um, in either the European market, the Pinoy market? What, what, what are you looking forward to? Do right now I'm trying to get the um and it's been out forever, but it's just something that I've wanted to get for forever, the the biochip. That thing, uh I think I have a line on one, but it's pretty it's pretty badass kind of I don't want to say it's a little bit kind of like the basic or like the the uh, sector one AX one two point zero. It's kind of has the same kind of top down airflow, hard to hard to uh hard to leak on. And uh, it's cool because it comes, you can get it in uh, Peak. It comes in like Peak, Delrin, or Ultim. And the actual like deck, the actual deck has Peak on it. It has Black Peak. And uh, the only other RDA, I mean, I, I know other RDAs do that, but the only other RDA that, I've, that I own that has that is the, the Zenith uh, Z3 or V3 um, out of the Philippines. And it has that white Peak insulator over the deck. But so yeah, the biochip, uh, it just looks looks really cool. It's definitely not anything new or cutting edge, but um, I, it's something I really want to get, especially the Ultima one. So that's that's what I'm currently currently tracking down. And then I have so many other things that I haven't posted reviews for. So uh, you know, I'm trying to track some stuff down, but I already have so much stuff like you know the Skyfall Maverick and the Cobra Lava, you know, all kinds of squonkers, SVX. That I need to do, I need to actually review. I've just been vaping them forever, and uh, yeah. So the biochip is what I'm definitely looking forward to getting. And then I'm always looking at oh, there's a brush and neck tube out of SRT17 that I ordered that looks really cool. Oh too. yeah, it's, like it's the SHR like short short something. Short it, looks, it has like the same finish as this Danessa. It's got that really cool finish, but it has like a. It has like cam. It's like a camouflage pattern. It's really, really cool. So I'm looking okay. forward to getting that. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I know I said some I said something about it already, but that smuggler mod, I I've got to get one of those. Especially me being a mech guy, um, I absolutely love the way that mod looks. Uh, <clears throat> as Clean. well as the two Addies that he's got coming out. Uh, I already got, I already X one on the one a while back. Uh, just waiting on those mech tubes to finish so he can get started on them but i am super super excited the stuff that guy is putting out is just so clean and the update posts that he puts the machining and the stuff is gorgeous i think it's gorgeous and i hope to get my hands on it and it to be even better if not i mean if it's just as good as it looks in the pictures fantastic but i have a feeling it's going to be even nicer than that so um that's it though man guys go go check out even if you're not into purchasing the stuff, um, even if you're not into, you know, you, it's not something that you think that you can afford or that you can even justify spending the money on. It's cool to see what's out there. 
Yeah. Um, it's really cool to see the designs and to see the aspects and to see the people that interact in the communities. They're not, um, it, it's small communities and it's really cool stuff to see and interact with. Uh, so just check some out. Don't be scared. Yes. You guys, I wanted to say, and you thank can you. do, and you can do both things too. Like you don't, you, can. you don't have to just be a high end, you know, only, or a, you know, uh, I vape on a vanny vape, whatever, only it's just, you, you know, as long as you're not smoking or chewing in my case, absolutely, yep. dude, yep. buy what you love to buy. And this is just one of those shows where there's going to be certain people to get super anal or like, Oh, uh, you know, this isn't what it, you know, like that kind of stuff. I don't really care about, man. It's just vape. I'm just a dude that likes to vape and I buy 99% of my own stuff. I work six days a week and I just want to share it with people. And, uh, my, my, the best thing about having a channel period is all of the friends that I made and, and all the guys in chat, like we and Dane, and I want to say Louis, but Louis is actually on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> Louis is usually blowing but, the chat up. So yes, this is really mm-hmm. cool. Louis is boy, here. All you guys, sick boy. I mean, that's another dude who's helped me out a ton. He sent me a yes, twenty one seven hundred for my Pulsar. Uh, there's just a lot of cool people, man. And it's just, but well, this is one of those things where this is a show that'll be on twice a month. And I really want to get the audience involved. I want, because there's so many chats that happen in chat. People make deals. People tell people about stuff. And it's just going to be a cool place to pool everyone's knowledge together, have some guests on bullshit and just relax like it's not that serious man yeah. it's, it's all absolutely about just, absolutely and, and fun with none of, yeah none of us are hemo you know i just want to iterate that i've like, never even heard of that term. enjoy I've never heard of it uh. all <laughs> the variety of things you know whether it's china made mass produced whatever it doesn't matter like like pal said as long as you're not smoking or chewing or just using any tobacco product, as long as you're just vaping, it's all that matters. Everyone's welcome in chat. Yeah. Just have an open mind. That's all I ask. You know, you want to know how to get some of these products? I was, like I said earlier, you'll definitely find out watching this show. You know what's great too is we can have different perspectives on as well. We can have people like Fictitious on who a lot of people know. We can have people like Jay Hayes on like that a lot of people know, right? Um, Absolutely. And we can also get people that, you know, are, are just don't understand high end and are, are like, you know, I just don't get it. And I'm never going to be that. And we can get those people on too and have a discussion with them. This that is a place for discussion. That's and absolutely people that hate what it, it is. Too. We should have someone on that hates high end. I think that'd be fun too. Like it'd be awesome. Yeah. Joel looks like a good candidate. He's putting hashtag limo crew and government assistance. <laughs> 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 Uh, Joel's just a troll. Good <laughs> one, Joel. All right, guys. Well, I think. Uh, uh, do you guys want to do independent sign offs? Are we okay? Just for me to close it out here. Yeah. We're, I'm cool. yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, just thank you, everyone, for tuning in, man. Thank like, you, guys. Absolutely. Check out Pal 702s channel for some really cool reviews and stuff. Um, don't forget to check that out. I will put the link in the description. It's not there yet, but I will. Vapor Swaggins is on the road to 10K and uh, Instagram, and Louis Nicolette. Yeah is creeping in all your Facebook groups. So just say, yo, Louie, and he'll probably pop up. <laughs> I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the hair is everywhere. Um, so, guys, two weeks from now, we'll be doing this again. Um, I'm sure we'll have a lot more stuff to talk about and to show you. I'm sure there will be some new things happening in the community that we'll be able to talk about. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. Thank you very much for being here. Feel free to leave any kind of questions or, or comments or information information is definitely appreciated by me in the in the comment section down below and uh, if you liked it hit the like button if not then that's cool hit the like button twice um thank you very much guys (laughs) we greatly appreciate it you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and remember (laughs) swags what are you doing man that's i copyrighted that (laughs) vape on friends have a good weekend guys